You have been told many lies of Middle Earth. Hey, 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 you shut your face! If we want to hear you talk, I will shove my arm up your ass and work your mouth like a puppet! You hear me? You hear me? Well, hello, brothers and sisters, family and friends, orcs and dwarves, all you people out there, all equally ugly, all equally beautiful. Uh, what? <laughs> What a great interaction. Uh, so, uh, it looks like San Diego Comic-Con just dropped off its new trailer for the Rings of Power. Sorry it took me so long to get to it. Unfortunately, my other recording, the quality of the audio was horrible, so I had to record again. So, anyway, plus editing takes years. I did my waiting! 12 years of it! Anyway, let's check it out, shall we? Let's hope that they uh, maybe reveal some of what the plot is going to be, but I really doubt it because they know that their plot is crap, so they're going to le release the least amount as possible so that they don't piss off fans even more than they already have. So let's check it out, shall we? All right. We thought the war at last was ended. Oh, so you mean like the war that you were never even a part of, that you never were in any battles of, there was no recording of you ever doing any participation in at all, except for maybe your husband and Elrond? That war, Galadriel? The war that they're trying to make you seem like you were a huge, massive part of? <laughs> yeah, that one? Okay, I thought so. Already not off to a great start. Screw you, Prime. We thought our joys would Oh man, look at all this. Elves and stuff all together. Okay, you know, it doesn't look horrible now. The sets are pretty. So that's a plus. Be an ending. We thought our light would never dim. Look how little they're showing of everything, right? They're just showing just stock footage of the show rather than anything actually anything with actually any weight to it that's also not off to a great start very obvious green screen that looks horrible anyway and what's up with these like shutter effects that aren't moving at all with the camera that makes no sense either i will call it out every time this guy looks horrible his friggin why couldn't they have given him a normal hairstyle man like what the heck were they going for just make your characters look normal and semi-normal right that'd be great meteor man Is that a Palantir? Because if it is, I have a lot of problems with that. If my memory serves me correctly, Palantirs were mostly used just during the Third Age. They were used between Minas Arnor, Minas Ethel, and uh, Osgiliath, um, part, sometimes at Rohan, Orthanc for sure. Um, there was at least seven, maybe nine. I'm pretty sure seven though. Um, so Galadriel and Muriel, Queen Muriel having one, that already makes no sense. Okay, like why would, whatever. I mean, I guess it's not completely breaking canon, but again, Palantirs were used in the third age, not really the second age. So I don't know what's going on. Looks like it's cracking. The moment we see it. Okay, big scene. Let's go back and uh, pause, shall we? Okay, big battle. I don't know what battle this is. It's pretty generic. Fire. Flaming fire. Oh, be on fire. Orc. Who is this guy? I don't know. Generic elf with short hair. Uh, okay. Even though, you know, every single time Tolkien ever described any elves in any of his legendarium, they had long hair. So I don't know why it's so hard to buy somebody a fetching wig. Sinking of Numenor looks like, which again, we talked about that timeline's not going to match up at all. Ah, that's what I wanted to get to. Who's these? Who's that? Oh, I know who it is. That's Celeborn. What? What the? F if you're wondering why Celeborn is dead, um, it's because they wanted to make Galadriel a strong female character who don't need no man. Because guess what? Celeborn had a much bigger part to play in the Second Age than Galadriel did. Okay, forging of a Region, and then later the founding of Lothlorien, all right, and helping Gil-galad and bringing reinforcements. Of the characters that are mentioned in the Third Age, Celeborn was quite important to the Second Age. So, I don't know why they're killing him off. Well, I do know why they're killing him off. Like I said, they want Galadriel to be the this badass female that doesn't have a husband attached to her telling her what to do. She needs to be all badass and stuff. I need you to fix his suit. The suit is literal perfection. It will be when it fits a woman. You are made of stuff. 
stupid. Even though Celeborn is one of the most freaking influential people in the second and third age, all right? And he's in the third age. He's a ton, all right? Maybe he's not as influential as Galadriel is in the third age, but he for sure is more influential than she is in the second age. So already they're cre creating some sort of drama in order to, I don't know, maybe make Galadriel a more sympathetic character, even though that makes no sense. Celeborn and Galadriel, they have a daughter, Celebrian, who Elrond marries, all right? So you guys killing off Celeborn, that makes no sense at all, okay? Stupid, stupid, stupid. Stupid, stupid, stupid. So you're breaking the lore. You're breaking the lore. Why Why would you kill off Celeborn? It's just to make Galadriel this badass female character, which again, she never was. That's stupid. You're stupid. Stop being stupid. Again, very disrespectful at this point. Oh, look at that. Maybe that's a white tree of Gondor. I don't know. Uh, don't know who these people are. Whatever. What the hell? Okay. <laughs> Friggin' what? Discount Eminem? Is that who this guy is? I don't even know who he is. Is he a servant of Sauron? Is he's not Sauron. We already talked about this. The guy that's going as Halbrand is Sauron. That's been confirmed. This isn't Sauron, but I mean, he obviously is a bad guy, but man, what the hell? Like, he looks like a friggin' barely survived cancer patient. Like, what is going on? Guys, buy a wig. Like, oof. Also, he looks like just a friggin' kid, teenager. This looks awful. That's all there is to it. This looks awful. Not intimidating, not scary, not a bad guy. Yeah, do you remember this footage? In the land of Mordor, in the fires of Mount Doom, the Dark Lord Sauron forged in secret a master ring. One ring to rule them all. But the power of the ring could not be undone. That's Sauron. You want to be intimidated? Watch the Fellowship of the Ring prologue, all right? That's Sauron, not this. Gosh, give me a break. We're in for it, people. You had one job. There he is all beneath the mountain. I love this actor. He's in a lot of really good stuff. I hope they do him well, but apparently this is Durin the fourth and this is Durin the third, which makes no sense, okay? No two Durins were alive at the same time. All right, Durin the Deathless was known as Durin the Deathless because he lived to be like 600 years old, all right? And every Durin after that was thought to be a reincarnation of the first Durin, all right? Durin, he forged Khazad Doom. He's like the greatest dwarf that ever existed, all right? And so he doesn't actually have a line of Durins following him afterwards, all right? Like I said, each Durin subsequently is a reincarnation of Durin. And the last one being Durin the Sixth, who was killed by the Balrog, which was later known as Durin's Bane, because it broke the line of Durin's being born. So having a Durin be father and son, that makes no sense. Obviously, the showrunners don't care about the lore at all, and they just wanted to have a father-son thing and whatever. It makes no sense, all right? You broke the entire concept of the character Durin by making them father and son, and that's just stupid. Showrunners, read the mythology that you have access to, even though it's this much, all right? <laughs> Cheeto Galadriel, as my friend Nerdorotic puts it. Cheetos. <laughs> no one name, but many. Yeah. Sauron has many names, and the one name that he uses to disguise himself when he goes to Numenor and uh, take over and basically uh, become the second-hand man to Farazhan is Anatar. Uh, but you're giving it the name Halbrand, so you can't even get the names right. That's kind of weird. And uh, it doesn't show very much of an effort to stick to the Tolkienian lore, if you ask me. You can't even get the names right? <laughs> Have you heard of Sauron? Yes! Everybody's heard of Sauron! Everybody's heard of Sauron. Goodness sakes, what are you talking about? Of course. That'd be like saying, uh, have you ever heard of Hitler? Yes! Yes! <laughs> We've heard of Hitler, okay? I don't understand this at all. He's like, Sauron was the right-hand man to Melkor, later Morgoth, who's like, literally the devil of Middle-earth, okay? So them not knowing who Sauron is... That doesn't make very much sense. That makes no 
fucking sense. He had a huge part to play in the first age when he was under Melkor's rule. He was more powerful than Balrogs. Read the stuff that you've got, showrunners. People not knowing who Sauron is, that just makes no sense. Stupid. They did the same thing with Star Wars trilogy. Do you know who Luke Skywalker is? I thought he was a myth, even though he saved the entire freaking galaxy like 30 years ago. So stupid. Again, the showrunners are just trying to have a clean slate. Okay, maybe I'm nitpicking at this point, but that looks fake as hell. <laughs> it looks like a prosthetic. It looks like one of those gloves you bought as a kid that like put a little skeleton hand on. It looks fake as hell. Ooh, scary. Scary Sauron. You better be scared, because it's really scary. Again, nothing to the plot. Sauron is here. That's the whole plot that we know about. I don't want to discover the legend, because this legend is poo-poo. Okay, that is the coolest thing in the trailer. This swordy thing. Blade. <laughs> Except, I mean, it just reminds me of lightsabers, so what, now you guys are trying to make something cool like a lightsaber? Come up with something yourself. But, I mean, the effects look cool. Do you want to show us some stuff about the rings? Do you want to show us anything about the rings? Because you keep talking about it, and your show is named after it, and yet nothing has alluded to it, this show being about the Lord of the Rings at all. It's alluded to Meteor Man, Badass Galadriel, and Black Female Dwarf singing, and Harfoot People. It has nothing to do with rings so far, as, as far as I can understand it. Maybe introduce some stuff about the rings. You, you know what is one of the coolest things that happens in the Second Age? The Nazgul. The Nazgul come, becoming the major, insanely powerful, and super scary forces of nature that we know them to be in the Third Age, alright? You'd think that they would devote some time to that because that's pretty huge but no 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 we're skipping over all the cool stuff that actually happened in the second age because we wanted to push our own ideas because we wanted to have a blank canvas if the evil rising is left unchecked it will take us all yeah, see, this is supposed to be friggin' Sauron or whatever. His name's Halbrand or whatever. Galadriel saves him because she's a badass female. She don't need no man like Rey Skywalker. Also, <laughs> what's up with this guy's helmet? This guy looks fine, but this guy's helmet, it's not even fitting on his head. Like, what the heck? <laughs> Do better, guys. You spent $465 million on this. You think you'd know how to get somebody a helmet that fit them. Yeah, yeah, this is probably the blood oath that Feanor makes to go kill Melkor. And again, Nerd Erotic and I also pointed this out, they're probably having an eight or nine minute prologue that shows all of the stuff that is canon, that is good, and they're just using that to show in the trailer because they know that that's the only stuff that actually follows anything that Tolkien wrote about in the Second Age. Because, you know, they wanted to make their own stuff. They wanted a blank canvas. You keep using the word. I don't think it means what you think it means. Fight with me. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. No, no! You're, you're not a badass. You're not a warrior, Galadriel. Tolkien wrote Galadriel to be a paramount of feminine power, a pinnacle and an example to everyone else. She gained her power and knowledge and wisdom and was feminine while doing it, all right? She was this super powerful, insanely amazing uh, elf that showed off wisdom and guidance, fighting against evil and all of that. She was never a badass warrior, all right? We know that she was in one battle. That's it, one battle. And she might have not even fought in it. She might have just been there when it happened. So Amazon, you gotta just stop with this whole badass Galadriel thing because nobody's on board with it, except for the cosplayers. Galadriel was not a warrior. She was not. And I know you guys are just trying to push that badass female character, strong female character, which you can do, but you can make Galadriel just as awesome as badass without making her a warrior and without breaking the lore, all right? You can do that. But no, we want to have another Rey Skywalker. We want to have another <laughs> Captain Marvel. We want to have another friggin' Valkyrie from Thor, who is just absolute cringe. You'd think that showrunners would know that you can have an awesome female character without just making her male, but they're not good at writers, so they don't know how to do that. The only way they know how to make a woman look badass is by putting a sword in her hand. It's horrible writing. Not to mention, it really kind of disrespects the character of Galadriel, because she was a pinnacle of beauty and of feminine power, and now you're just dressing her up like a man, and throwing her into battle like some, like she's just another soldier. It's just, it's disrespectful to Galadriel. It really is. Read The Fellowship of the Ring. You still get chills by how powerful she is, and she never even picks up a sword. You guys just suck at writing. <laughs> Gosh, this looks so cringe. Like, what the hell? <laughs> Look at that. Uh, <laughs>
It just looks horrible. Also, look, female dwarf, female dwarf, female dwarf, female dwarf, female dwarf. None of them have beards. All dwarfs have beards, including the women. I got into an argument with this freaking know-it-all on my on my last video saying that dwarf women don't have beards. And it's like, yeah, they do. All right. Not only is it recorded in Appendice A of Return in Return of the King that all dwarves are so alike in a voice and appearance with male dwarves that they that anyone would mistake them for a male dwarf, implying that yeah, they have beards. It's not a debate. All dwarves have beards. All of them, even female ones. All right. Tolkien said it multiple times. All right, I don't know why this is such a hard concept for people to understand. I also have no idea how this woman is so black when she's underground all the time. I don't understand that at all. All of your other female dwarves are white. Hopefully they'll, hopefully they'll explain it, but at this point it makes no sense. Whatever. Must decide who we shall be. Somebody pointed this out the other day. They're not even trying to make any of their props look real. Right here, look at this. Look at this friggin' armor. It doesn't even look real. <laughs> it looks like plastic. Look at this, it looks like plastic. Am I, am I, am I going crazy? Yeah. But this looks like plastic. It doesn't look like actual sheet metal for the horse. It looks like plastic. Like, what's up with that? Even a part of her armor doesn't even look real. Like, you guys have way to workshop. Friggin' use them, man. What's up with this? It looks fake. Can't even make your effects look good. Sea monster, I guess. No mention of sea no monsters. Between hammer and rock. What did he just say? There can be no trust between hammer and rock. <laughs> Let's finish, let him finish, see what he says. Eventually one or the other must surely break. No trust between hammer and rock. That doesn't sound like something a dwarf would say. Because there's a lot of trust between hammer and rock. Because, you know, that's all dwarves do, is carve stuff. So, maybe I'm reading into that wrong, but it just sounds like a line written by somebody that knows nothing about dwarves. Also, what is up with all of the slow, like, is this, this is, this had better be slowed down. Like, maybe it's slow motion. I don't think it is, though. But, like, this guy... Arundir, whatever his name is. He like does backflips at like half speed. Like he did one in the last trailer. He's doing one in this trailer. Look how slow this is. That took a full second for him to jump towards this guy. If you've jumped towards somebody, you're going really fast, faster than that. It just looks big. Looks like he's on a wire. You know what I mean? So $465 million, guys, and they can't even make special effects look good at all. Then we'll reinvest the earnings into foreign currency accounts with compounding interest and it's gone. What's all gone? The money in your account. It didn't do too well. It's gone. What do you mean? I, I have $100. Not anymore, you don't. Poof. Oh, yeah, and apparently this is a female orc, because we obviously need to see female orcs, which just sounds horrifying. <laughs> Who wants to see that? Who wants to see female orcs? <laughs> Nobody. I'll tell you right now. Again, discount M&M. Not scary. Just weird looking. Just friggin' weird looking. You have been told many lies of middle earth. The only lies I've been told about Middle Earth are from you guys, the showrunners. You guys are telling all of the lies about Middle Earth. See all those books right there? I have an entire shelf just dedicated to Tolkien lore. And I'm building my second shelf with Tolkien lore as well. I'm reading the history of Middle Earth. You guys are the ones telling lies about Middle Earth. Don't try to brush us true fans off as not knowing what we're talking about. Because we know way more than you do, apparently. You can't even adapt a show to follow even the simplest format that Tolkien set up. Disrespectful. Trying to tell me what lore I don't know? Piss off. Oh, and it's scary. It's really scary. Aaron Deer is getting taken away by, I don't know, friggin', pff, I don't know, friggin' dark elves or something? I don't know. I don't know. It look, it's cringe. It looks cringe. And then, of course, we have the Balrog. Which looks exactly like the one in Fellowship of the Ring. Do you guys remember that article? Let me see if I can pull it up. Do you remember this article right here? Rings of Power showrunners weren't interested in Lord of the Rings prequel. We it craved a blank canvas. Or this one. Amazon's Lord of the Rings series. Creators say they're not competing with Peter Jackson. And yet, you make the Balrog look the exact same. What's up with that? It's not a prequel. And yet, you make the Balrog look the exact same. Tolkien never set what Balrogs look like it's set in stone. He has a description of them, but each one of them seems like they were kind of unique in their own way. And yet, 
you guys are making the Balrog look the exact same is because you're trying to attract fans. You're trying to attract the fans of the Lord of the Rings movies. Don't say you're not a prequel. Don't say you don't you don't want to compete with Peter Jackson. That's exactly what you're doing. You're trying to make something that looks exactly like what Tolkien fans are already used to so that they come and watch it. So don't lie. This is, this is a Balrog. Also, side note, Balrogs were basically wiped out. There was no mention of any Balrogs in the Second Age. The only time a Balrog is mentioned, not in the th First Age, is in the Third Age, when, ba when Gandalf fights one. So I don't know why you guys are including a Balrog. I do know why. You guys are including a Balrog in the Second Age, because again, you want to bring a card. You want to bring all those hardcore Tolkien fans back, all right? So make up your mind, Amazon. Are you trying to be a prequel to the amazing Peter Jackson movies, or are you trying to be your own thing? Obviously, you don't even know what you're doing because you're making the Balrog look the exact same and tons of the stuff, armor, all the other stuff just looks the exact same. You're also shooting in New Zealand. You're also using way to workshop. So I don't know what you guys are trying to do. You're trying to create your own thing, but still make it look and sound and as exactly like the original Peter Jackson trilogy. That doesn't make any it makes no sense. And again, that's also disrespectful because those movies are way better than anything you could ever put out in your entire life. I saw, I, I, I follow Rings of Power so that I can see all this good, wonderful goodness. And I saw somebody just say, oh, look, we're having a interview with the Lord of the Rings cast. No, you're not. You're having an interview with the Rings of Power cast. All right. Lord of the Rings, Rings of Power two different things. Lord of the Rings cast was 20 years ago and they're all amazing and those shows those movies are some of the greatest movies of all time despite their flaws. Rings of Power is its own thing. You're not Lord of the Rings, all right? Two different things. Amazon, your demented, deformed, disgusting looking, warped shape of what you think Tolkien is is its own thing. Don't connect it to Lord of the Rings, all right? It's disrespectful. Anyway, that's the rest of the trailer and friggin' gosh, it just looks cringy. Oh yeah, and I will add <laughs> I was watching it very closely, but look at that. 68,000 likes, 200,000 dislikes. Freaking take a hint, Amazon. Take a freaking hint. And look at this. I'm going to refresh it. Would never dim. 201,000. Still 68,000. 201,000. It went up a thousand dislikes in just the beginning of when I started recording this. All right. I was watching it when it first came out. It first started out with way more dis way more likes than dislikes. Slowly, the dislikes just took over. All right. Nobody wants this. Nobody wants this, Amazon. And everybody's just making fun of it. When Sauron at when Galadriel asked Sauron if they really believed the One Ring would, would rule all the rings of power, and he replied, Life uh finds a way. It literally brought tears to my eyes. So faithful to Tolkien lore. <gasps> People are making fun of you in, in droves, Amazon. Dude, that moment at the end when Sauron says, Iron Man, Mr. Stark, I don't feel so good, and turns to dust, literal goosebumps. <laughs> It's because people know that you're not going to follow the lore. So obviously they're not going to respect anything that you put out. You're not following the lore. You're not going to follow anything that Tolkien set up. And so it's just disrespectful. I talked to one person that said he he was excited for Rings of Power. And when I confronted him about it, he was like, oh, I just knew that that would make you mad. I was like, well, there you go. There you go. Again, I will be the first person to jump for joy if this show does well. But when you see a person sitting on a toilet, I haven't seen the poop been delivered. But I know what's going to happen. I know that he's pooping. That's what's happening here. Uh, Amazon is a giant person sitting on top of a toilet ready to crap out the rings of power. And uh, none of us want to see it. All right. It's going to look, it's going to be horrible. And I'm just going to watch it burn up in flames. All right. I was counting up for another video I'm making all of the things that they've already done to break the lore. I got to like 20 and the show hasn't even come out yet. And there have already 20 different things that they've done to break the lore. So <laughs> just looks like this show is going to be horrible. This trailer didn't bring any more confidence to me. Maybe it did to you. Maybe it had some cool visuals or whatever. But that's about it. That's the only compliment I've heard people throwing around is, oh, well, it looks cool. It better. It's $465 million and it doesn't even look that good. Half of the stuff looks fake. <laughs> so anyway, Amazon, you're shooting yourself in the foot and I can't wait for you to stumble to your death uh, on September 2nd. All right. So, oh yeah. Also September 2nd, death of Tolkien. Seems like uh, you guys picked a perfect day for that. Death of Tolkien, 1973, September 2nd. September 2nd, 2022, death of Tolkien lore, death of Tolkien fan base, death of all things Tolkien, 
death of all future products put out by Tolkienism. And you guys killed it. Congratulations. You suck and I hate you. Hey, fuck off.